The book of Acts 10. True repentance. Tell your neighbor, true repentance. Again. Again. Yes, I will take you to the book of I will take you to the book of uh, Acts 10. The first Roman to repent. His name was Cornelius. He wasn't a Rome only. He was a governor. A man of authority. A man that was given power. A man who was governing Jews by that time. When he heard about Jesus, when he heard Jesus teaching, when he heard before Jesus teaching, he believed. When he heard Jesus teaching, he converted himself. The Bible says he was a true believer, but in private, or let me say in secret, He never believed himself only, but he converted the wife and kids. There were family of believers. There were Christians, but in secret. I need you to revisit the day when you repented. And your life today. I need you to revisit the day when you gave your life to Christ. And your life today. Cornelius became a first Roman to believe. He became a first Roman to believe or to become a Christian. Remember, Christianity wasn't there before Christ. Christianity was born and Christ was the first Christian. In Acts 11, In 23, Paul and, Sila and, and Barabbas, they were called Christians. That's where today we are called Christians. Can you say Christians? Yes. We are called Christians because it was in, in Antioch where they saw Paul and Barabbas. And they were aware that Paul and Barabbas, they are not Christ. They said, these people, they talk like Christ. These people, they do like Christ. These people... They preach about Christ. They are not Christ. They are Christ-like. They are the image of Christ. Let us call them Christians. Christians, it means Christ-like. Aye. When you become a Christian, you become a photocopy of Jesus Christ. When you become a Christian, you become a photocopy of our Lord Jesus. Christianity wasn't there before Christ. Christianity was born with Jesus. Church wasn't there before Christ. All churches were called synagogues. Am I talking to somebody here? Christianity and church came with Jesus 2,000 years ago. They were called Christians in Antioch. Paul and Barnabas. They were called Christians. Paul and Barnabas. 
Apostle Paul, he received the gospel after 15 years, Christ departed. In Galatians 1, we hear him say, through revelations, I received this gospel. Not from any man, but from him, Christ himself. Apostle Paul he received the gospel from Christ himself, the founder and the first Christian. We hear Christ say to Simeon, from today I'm not going to call you Simon. I will call you Simon, Peter, which it means the what? The rock. And on that rock I'm going to build my father's house. Aye. We see Romans who were abusing. Romans were the part of crucifying a Christ. We see one governor repenting. He did repent. Not only repentance that we are doing nowadays, but a true repentance. Can you say true repentance? Yes, nowadays Christians, they go and join churches like they are joining society. That's why church is no longer bringing a, a, bringing a, a change in our lives. Because church nowadays is just an organization of people who are trying to practice what they don't know. It's no longer about repentance. What profit men, if he can gain the whole what? The whole what? The whole world. And lose his what? His life. His soul. Hallelujah. Our Christianity is a relationship between us and Jesus. I don't care. I can lose everything. What is important is for you to have a relationship with Jesus. I say to another man of God, it's pointless to pre preach in seven to eight million or 10 million people, but all of you among that crowd, among you, even you, the preacher, you'll be knowing that you don't have a relationship with the one whom you are teaching with. True repentance, it means surrendering your life to Jesus and giving God everything. Hallelujah. Can you, say God? Can you say God? Then say Jesus. All right. I want to open your eyes. Most of the time, we talk about God Almighty. Huh? Huh? But I will tell you something. Jesus, he gave us a simple way to talk about God. We have to call what? Jesus. Can we say Jesus? Because Jesus, he said, in John 9, verse 31, me and my father, we are what? We are one. In Revelation 1, 8, he said, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, and the what? The ending. No one can go to my father except passing me. In John, he said that. I am. So if you want your prayers to be heard or your conversation as a Christian to have a meaning, stop running away and calling God because there are a lot of gods outside there. Am I making sense here? When they saw Apostle Paul performing miracles and wonders, they say, no, he is using the gods he was in Ephesus. By that one time, there was a God that they were worshipping. The marine God that they were believing that he is the one who was, who was able to perform miracles. He was the one who was able to bless people. When they saw Apostle Paul performing signs and wonders, they say it is the same God who, have, who, who, who raised inside the Apostle Paul. But there is only one Jesus. Can you tell your neighbor, one Jesus? Again. 
There is only one Jesus. John 19. Sorry. John 20. The last verse. So that those who believe in, 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 in him. Whatsoever they shall ask by his name, it shall be given to them. Aye! Cornelius, he heard Jesus preaching. He believed. Cornelius, he heard Jesus. He believed the secret. He abandoned his Roman practice. Can you say culture? Uh, you people, can you say culture? I want to tell you something about culture. Culture. Everyone was born in a tribe where there is culture. If you agree with me, shout amen. amen. There is Kenyan a culture. When they dance, they jump. You know them, huh? They jump straight. You cannot jump like them. That's their culture. Aye! There is Ngunis culture. The way skins of dead animals, they carry, they dance, they whatever, is culture. Can you say culture? There is one culture that I always uh, love when I'm um, Relaxing. Zwana culture. When they dance, they, you know them, huh? Hallelujah! Jesus was born in a Jewish culture. Which is today, we call it Judaism. Am I talking about here? Aye! Yeah. Yeah. Jesus was born in a Jewish culture. He was dressing like Jews. If he was here, he was going to now, he was going to be wearing that small thing that they are putting. He was going to gathering of Jews. He was going to synagogues. He was going everywhere because he was a Jew. But here comes Christianity now. Jesus is separated culture and Christianity. Can you say culture and Christianity? Again. That's why many people, they get confused. Cornelius was a Rome, following the Roman culture. And there was a God that they were worshipping, Romes that they were worshipping. There were gods that they were worshipping by that time. But when Jesus, he heard about Jesus, he abandoned the culture and their gods, he started following Jesus. The problem of Christians nowadays, they want to mix Jesus and their culture. That's why it, catch, it catches. Am I talking about here? Because many rules in your cultures. We are different people, tribes here in this church, and different uh, people from different countries. Your rules of your culture, there are rules that are against the Bible in your culture. That's why Christianity, now when you become a Christian, you have to follow Jesus. God, he says in Exodus 19, he says, if they hear my words and follow my word, my commandments. Exodus 20 again, they hear my words and follow my commandments. In Deuteronomy 5 again, if they hear my words and follow my commandments. Christianity, it has its own commandments. Aye! That's why I refuse. You cannot worship Jesus and worship ancestors. That was your culture. Those were your gods. And that, those gods, they were supporting your culture. 
but now Cornelius here he repents now he repents he, after he repented he introduced the wife he introduced the kids i always say to people make sure if you are a husband and wife the god whom you worship is one god you cannot have two gods in one house hallelujah ema tonza batie you cannot have two gods in one house one or the other your gods they are going to clash ema tonza batie you cannot have two gods in one house as a husband and wife because one or the other your gods one of the gods is wiser than another god Hey, my tons of matter. It's better if you are worshiping a foolish god. All of you become fools. You will die and go to hell as fools. There is nothing there is nothing there is nothing wrong about that because you are thinking that the god whom you are worshiping was fine. But Cornelius here is the one who heard about Jesus. He brought the wife, he brought the family. The Bible said the whole family they were God fearing people. They abandoned their gods and they abandoned their culture. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> That's why we have a problem especially in in Africa where Jesus is still shouting people they want to take their culture and mix it with Jesus you find people they are trying to squeeze their own small gods uh, to be equal with Jesus in few years ago chinese they were saying buddha bless us buddha is their god you go to the movies they were saying buddha bless us now the monkeys the highest monkeys in buddhist they are saying no we didn't say buddha was a god we say buddha was a connection buddha was the way of connecting you to god almighty why are they running away tomorrow believe me before we die they'll be saying buddha is another name of jesus hallelujah can you say the name of jesus <laughs> Remember Vatican Romans Romans they played a vital role from centuries to centuries The Bible that we are carrying they played a vital role for allowing to alter the Bible to allow things to be the Bible others they never agree with them We talk about the book of Holy Enoch they rejected the book of Holy Enoch because Holy Enoch was showing us the god who's righteous the bible says the righteous god but the, the vatican they wanted the god who who, who accept everything the god who, who allow you to do any evil that you want to do he's no longer a god that one ay ay from 90s going back vaticans they were not recognizing jesus they were believing in, in in the the holy mary there was no mary without jesus if you agree with me shout amen are you aware that they, we're not going to know mary without jesus huh when you go back to the romans in 90s going back there there were even their rosary when they pray their prayer they say hey, whatever to the holy mary there was no jesus how can you call your 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 creator a baby jesus can you shout amen <laughs> romans they were calling jesus a baby jesus can you say baby jesus uh, can you say baby jesus does it sound well Huh? Can you kneel down say in the name of baby Jesus? Huh? You know why Romans they wanted that? They wanted to dilute the gospel. They are the ones who started all if that you see outside. All these men who are dating one another. They are the ones who started that. They wanted their culture 
to be part of this gospel that they are preaching, the gospel of Holy Mary. She wasn't going to be Holy Mary without Jesus. Am I talking to somebody here? I want to tell you something. Mary, she was just an ordinary young lady like everyone. A God-fearing young lady. So meaning that when God, he wanted Jesus to come down, he sent angels to do shopping to check which girl was suitable to carry Jesus, the King of Kings. Aye, aye. The gospel of nowadays wants to make Jesus to be equal with our cultures. That's why you find there are people who say they worship ancestors, they worship Jesus. There is nothing, that's abomination. There is nothing like that. Cornelius, he was having a culture of Rome. There was a culture in Rome, and there was a God that they were worshiping in Rome. But when he repented, he denounced everything. He carried Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear my tongue, somebody. Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I was talking to another man one day. He was talking. He's a Roman. He was talking about. I said, which baby Jesus are talking about? Can I call you? What is your name? He told his name. I said, let me call you baby. Your name. I call your name baby Stephen. If you are Stephen. How are you feeling if I call you baby Stephen? He says, disrespect. I said, why are you respect, disrespecting our king? It doesn't mean that Vatican's, if they were calling Jesus a baby Jesus, it, it means that we can kneel down and say, in the name of baby Jesus, Jesus will ask which baby? Aye! Did he remain a baby? Because Jesus, he, he went up when he was 33 years. Is it a 33-year-old man a baby? Is he a baby? So why, why, why you want to call him a baby Jesus? Hallelujah. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I want to explain about the culture because Cornelius, he repented a true, can you say true repentance? Yes, this man, he, he left everything. He adopted Christ. That's why he saw an angel. When he was praying, the angel stood up and said, your prayers, God has heard your prayers in heaven. If you want to see an angel like Cornelius, he is the same God. Abandon hell, denounce all your culture, and denounce all your God, and adopt Jesus. He shall appear to you. You are keeping hands like you maybe you don't want to keep hands. Keep hands for Jesus. Oh, you are the people who are calling Jesus, baby Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, go and kneel in your house, my daughter, and say, in the name of baby Jesus, do it for six months. I want to see who's going to. You are going to lose your job. You are going to you lose. It. One day when you come, you find your house burning. All right, as, as old as you are, pastor, you are a pastor, I say, a, a baby in soul. Can you phone baby in soul somewhere there? Does it make sense? Huh? Vaticans, they wanted Jesus to remain small. Why? They wanted to dilute their culture and their gods with Jesus. They wanted to allow a man to date one another, women to date one another. Why? Because they knew that Jesus' gospel is against everything. Because the Bible says, God is righteous. He's a righteous God. Tell him about, he's a righteous God. Again. Again. This, let me tell you something. Another man he said this. During the week I was with my girl, we did a small video. Then I said, there is nothing called miracle money. It's a story. Jesus never done a miracle money. Jesus, he had five powerful women. Can you say five powerful women? 
In the book of Mark 8, we see five powerful women, including Mary Mahadala. They are the people who are business people, who are supporting the gospel of Jesus financially. Can you say financially? Aye, aye. Then you come, you today, you tell me there is miracle money. Okay, if pastor can do a miracle man or a prophet, okay, let's give him all of us. Let's go and open bank accounts and give him bank accounts zero zero. We go and check after two days. We found miracle man. God said to Adam, since you have sinned against me, from today, these hands of yours, you are going to work harder. You will eat your sweat. Your, your, you shall eat your labor. Through your hands, you shall feed yourself. Hallelujah. There is no kingdom in laziness. Tell never there is no kingdom in laziness. If you want to see laziness, sleep. Sleep for five days and wake up and say, I will find miracle man. Sleep. Want to see? Apostle Paul is saying in Philippians 1, verse 13. Who cares if the gospel is preached in two ways? The way that is right and the wrong way. Who cares if the gospel is preached in two ways? Hallelujah. Can you say, Lord Jesus? <laughs> Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. This man is saying he respects my vision and he respects my gospel. He respects, he follows me and he follows us. But he's disappointed because I'm saying there is no miracle man. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastors who preach miracle money, majority of them, they were found doing corruption. Why are they doing corruption if there was miracle man? Hallelujah. Amen. Only Jesus was born holy. There will be no Jesus anymore. Don't fool yourself. There is a miracle baby. There's nothing like that. If you are a woman, you remain single. You will die without a child. Don't fool yourself and go to the mountain and say, I'm praying like Holy Mary, I'll become pregnant from the Holy Spirit. Some other things we just push Jesus. I say to another man, let me tell you something. Anything that is not, not written in the Bible, don't practice it. Why? Because it's not written. Don't tell me, give me a scripture that proves this is not allowed. God gave us rules. Anything that is not part of those rules, don't practice it. It's those things that God say, do not do this. Hey, my tongue's about here. Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> so now you, 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 you need a rule that tells you don't smoke. That's what you need. Why God didn't write it down? Because he knows it's not allowed. You as a believer, you follow all command, say commandments. Uh -huh. You, you are leaded by the scriptures. Anything that is not written on the scripture, don't practice it. It's ungodly. Anything that is not biblical, that is not written in black and white, is satanic. Aye! Cornelius repented. He threw away culture. Us, we don't want to throw our culture. We say there is nothing wrong about culture. Yes, there is nothing wrong about culture. But your culture is not just a culture. Your culture is attached to your gods. Aye! No one it does culture and forget to do their goals. Most of people, especially in Africa, when they celebrate their cultures, they celebrate their gods. It's rare to find people celebrating their culture only. 
But Cornelius, he threw everything away. He believed in Jesus until the angel appeared. Look on the neighbor, ask your neighbor, what is your culture? Maybe you are a Tswana, you know your, twa, your culture in Tswana, huh? Maybe you are a Sutu, you know the culture in Sutu, huh? You know how you dress, huh? There is that one they call it culture day, huh? Is it that one, there is a whole day like that, huh? Huh? People, they wear like Zulus, Zulus, they wear like Zulus, whatever, whatever. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But are you aware that most of the time people who saw those things are deep in those gods? They don't saw like they are doing African attire, as we call it. Huh? Hallelujah. When they are about to sell it, they say, hey, 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 God of whatever suit to God, I'm about to go and sell these things. Go with me. Hallelujah. I, 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 are you not aware of that? There is that place downtown they called Mai Mai. If you, uh, uh, they called it Mai Mai. Say Mai Mai. There is that one, the biggest one, the big complex. They called it Faraday. You know Faraday? If you are a believer, you buy something in Faraday. There is something wrong with your thinking. I was passing with my girl one day. What I saw there, it's amazing and shocking. A dry, a dry owl. You know an owl? Huh? They are selling a dry owl. It's just dry with wings. You know, the smell that is there, if you are not, you will come with a headache for 10 years. But you find Christians, they will be going there in such places. They say, I'm going there. I'm about to celebrate Culture Day. I'm going to look for my African attire. You never repented. I'm not a Christian. Cornelius was a true Christian. He abandoned everything. Until the angel appeared, they say, you have impressed God. You have what? Impressed God Almighty. Find Peter, he will explain the gospel of the cross. I say to the man when I was answering on Facebook, I say, listen here. The gospel of the cross. There is a gospel and the gospel of the cross. Can you say gospel? Can you say the gospel of the cross? The gospel of the cross is for Jesus. The gospel... Everyone can preach it. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 1 verse 13, who cares if the gospel is preached in two ways? The one that is one is right and the one that is wrong. Who cares? Hallelujah. God must have mercy on us. Tell your neighbor, God must have mercy on us. Again. Again. Since you are having your suit to tie, culture address, where did you buy it? Did you examine the person who was selling it? Or you are so, you are so happy and you are, you are a fool, you are having money, you just bought it. How do you know that they didn't call their gods there and they called the Sutu gods to be on top of that thing? Hallelujah. Jesus was a Jew. He never practiced Judaism. It was his culture. No matter he was dressing like Jews, he was preaching the cross. Am I talking about Aye! There's no problem you can dress Tswana Sutu culture, but preach the cross. Don't preach their gods. 